We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Friends and family on Telegram. Families and friends will prosper. Look up business. Hey guys, we are marking up EKKT stock. Just take a look at what's going on in the market. So last active candle, we have this big, huge bullish candle. Let's read the market, see what's going on. <clears throat> so price act is currently at this level here. So if we look at higher highs as a whole, we we'll would be looking at this area here. If we're looking to come down to the lowest point, we're looking for the price to come down to this level here. And we can also add a midpoint in the middle. So what we're gonna do is read the market. So we can clearly see market start off as a low and price action, a full candle ended up at the end of here. Price action is currently at the top. What the market did was came from the low, pushed up once, came back down, pushed up twice and is just sitting here. We gotta figure out what's going on at this high. The market has leveled off previous where it was at. Um, but this time we have the body instead of just the width on the opposite side. Let's head down the time frame to see what's going on. Okay, so price act and last active candle is one big, huge bullish candle on a weekly time frame. So within seven days, it took for this candle to form, huge. And it actually engulfed this whole area. All these candles that was created previously from the date of November 2020, November 16, 2020, this, this market this week has engulfed that whole previous market, okay? So the market looks dominantly very, it's going to go up. Headed down to the daily time frame, let's take a look at what's going on. Daily is the same thing, huge engulfing pattern on the one day. And this market didn't close out yet, so we're looking at market gonna close out <clears throat> at 10 hours. Get it down to the four. Okay, so on the four, we have market pushed up once because it came back and retest, probably found a retest in a lower time frame, so market pushed up twice to areas of higher highs. Head it down to three. Okay, so we got one push up, market came back to retest, two push ups, market came back to retest, three push ups. Head it down to the two. Okay, now we got about four pushes. So you see the market pushed up once, came back down, pushed up twice, came back down, pushed up three times, came back down. We well, yeah, got four pushes so far. Head it down to the one. And so now we can see them areas of retest. So market's at the low and market pushed up, retest this area here multiple times. So think about the area being consolidation. So market pushed up, consolidated, pushed up again. And now it's some type of consolidation going on in this area as well. Okay. Also on the one hour time frame, figure out what's going at this high. We got three pushes to the top. So. If we can head down the time frame and be able to see it, it'll probably be like a triple top, three pushes to the top, or maybe it's four pushes to the top. Let me look at it, three. Let's see if we can identify that. Um, the last active candle is very dominant, showing that the market's gonna go up. The last body of the price action has dominated the previous body of this area here, showing that the market can work its way up. Even the last price active wick has dominated the previous two wicks, showing that the market is dominant to go up. <clears throat> Headed down to the 45. Okay, and I did say that, that we may see four pushes to the top, and we do. So when we head down, to, we, 
when we was on a, when we was on a one hour time frame, we seen three punches to the top. Um, <clears throat> with the experience that I have going down to the, going down the time frame, I had a feeling we was going to see an extension in the market. So you're going to see more candles. As we go down further, we may even see a doji chart form in this area here. So let's see if we can find it. Or it may be coming up soon. Okay. But it has to come back and retest something. And it, what, it's going, what it's going to probably retest is that midpoint line I created. Head it down to the 30. So now we can see these, we can see these retests a lot clearer. This retest here. And this candle is the area of retest. So now we didn't just go from three pushes to the top to four pushes to the top. Now we have five pushes. Eh, five, five, mm, three pushes to the top. Four pushes to the top still because you got one, two, three, and four. I'm, I'm paying attention to areas that broke the resistance and not just this little low area. So that's the market basically what it did. It was it dipped down, it came back up, and we can see that incline with the wicks. Okay, so that's how you can see that area of consolidation. So when we head down the time frame, we'll probably see some type of W formation. That market is still pushing. We just got another push. Very dominant that the market's going on. Go up. So I mean we're still looking for some type of OD in the market. Head it down to the uh 15 minute time frame. Now we can see the clear retest areas of the market from the low. So probably came out of a double bottom here. Uh first, second, third, fourth, multiple retests. So came from ground zero. Market pushed up once, came back down. Uh, overall, market pushed up twice, came back down. Overall, two pushes to the top, average is three, could be four. So let's see if that's happening. We don't know if that's going to happen yet, so we got to keep on, uh, probably just wait and let the market build itself some more. Um, let's take a look. Headed down to the five. So we can definitely see them areas of consolidation clear. So we can see them W's in there, so we have that. First, second, third, fourth retest. Market pushed up once to a new area, area consolidation again. We have that first, second, third, fourth retest. Market pushed up once, came back down. Market pushed up twice. So that means average is three. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four. Formation, retest one, retest two. So that market can't push up one more time if it chooses to. So that means that market will be retesting, actually retesting the, um, resistance line of the highest high that we created right here on this yellow line. So we should be looking for a market to come back, go up and come right back down. And we can look for entry. You guys can be looking for entry on from Park Adam Chichi. Adam's going to identify itself. You can take it to new areas of high. You don't want to chase in the market from this level of the resistance because we don't know. You don't want to get into this level and the market drops down on you and then you're in a negative. Headed down to the three. We can see them clear pushes. Areas of consolidation as well is in there. Um, we got one more time to frame to be on, so you probably won't see them. The area of consolidation, um, one to one minute. Um, also, we can see price action is having a hard time to break the previous candle. It's still active, so I mean, it's on the three minute time frame, so it still have time to form. But as we can see it's clearly having issues breaking. The last price action candle is bodies below the previous body. But the wick is not above the previous wick. So what's going on here? It's probably some type of wedge pattern. So this is where we may see that, yellow, that red doji form, some type of doji form that can push that market back down and go up. And if it, and if it doesn't form, then we know that market's still pushing up, but we still waiting for that market to come back down and retest. Or we're looking for some type of um, con, um some type of doji somewhere within this area, okay? So it's either market's going to come back to return or we see a doji, the opposite color, um, direction doji in that area that's going to push the market down. Head it down to the one. Okay, now we see them retest. So now all you have to do is let the market form itself here. And we can see the widest market having issues breaking because we can see that on the one minute time frame we have identified the last two dojis and also price action is um, it pushed down right now to a hammer. So that's still an indecisive candle. But the previous one is a doji, so we don't know if that market's going to come back down all the way back down to the low. It's going to re it's going to retest its midpoint, respect it, create the momentum, and push back up the new areas of highs. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to drop back a little bit, see what's going on. So I also I'm going to extend this video. 
I'm gonna show you guys something. So price action is trying to break this area of this wick here. So if you put a SR line here, but this is not the SR line, this is the, the ray. Put the ray of SR line, horizontal line, places that on there. Also, we can see price, the next level below that would be trying to break this wick here, which it did. So it's inside of a range itself. So let me look down the time frame and see what's going on. And it'll probably line up perfectly as we walk down this time frame one more time in that yellow. I mean, only only thing I see was on a three that the market pushed up right into that area. Um, the line, the SR line is never going to be perfect, but you can see the idea how respected that SR line is because this second to last candle is basically touching right on it, broke it a little bit, but then another candle formed. Also on the one hour, we see the second to last candle, it dropped right on top of it for the retest. So that area is well respected. Also the last active candle landed right on top of that resistance of my orange line that I created with the ray, which is well respected as well. Okay, so that could be an area where the market can retest to go back up. Headed down to the 45, the same thing. Headed down to the 30. Uh, wait, 45, you can see both. I didn't, identify, if I didn't identify that on the 45, on the, on the one hour, but it's retesting the orange uh, ray and also retesting the the highest high of that ray I just created. So that them lines are being well, well respected from when I found it on the higher time frame from the wicks. And now we can see the market broke the retest and it landed right exactly on the SR line that I created on the um, higher time frame, So that market come back down to that point and once it breaks, we know it's headed further down. So these are major areas you guys can pay attention to. Headed down to the 15, okay, another very important area. You know it's well respected because market broke, came back to retest right on top of our, uh, our SR line, okay? Headed down to the five, one more time. Now we can see that market is, is, is being respected. Multiple times came up, pushed back down, retest came up, came back down, retest. Uh, and then we have the, the market, you know, pushed up, pushed up, and so it's in that incline. Okay, so the, the market is being respected by the areas I did pull out. Headed down to the three, once again, well respected, well respected. Headed down to the one, multiple, multiple respect areas one, two, three, four, four times. So that area is a major area that the price can come back down to. Very important information, guys. Please review Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet. Understand market direction. Market direction of patterns. When you do see the pattern form, what's going to happen. Also review the breakout and retest strategies. You guys have to understand when the market is breaking the SR line. What is this going to do? Okay. Is it going to come back in? We tested, or is it going to just create a doji and push up? Things like that. Okay, guys, this is F Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your attention. E K K T 